Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another Tokyo Ghoul Rebirth episode and today we're going to be taking a look at a maxed out version of the One-Eyed King Konaki. Now, I haven't actually tested this yet and this is mainly just a test to see how much damage this guy can output on his own, not without any of the buffs from Annie Arima. I'm not going to be using his uh, abilities to help buff. So that's not the aim here. I want to see how much damage on his own the Konik can do. Now, I'm going to be doing it against the Konik raid himself. Um, so this is not a increase. We're still purple to purple. So it's still not going to be doing more damage. But I want to jump into this. And I want to see how much damage he can do on his own. I know it's a lot. He is 100%. He's 10-10. And I'm not going to be using, or uh, I'm not going to try and avoid using any of the buffs from Annie Arima. My Annie Arima is, I think he's 40% 10-10. He's not quite ready yet to do a test with. But let's have a C. So we're going to go all in with things to start off with. Now, I think this should be enough to break burst. I wanted to, I just wanted to do this little bit of a test. I wanted to see how much damage this guy can exert. So there's his GS break burst. So we're going to go in again. Uh, I guess Ani Arima can just deal damage. It doesn't matter at this point because he can't exhibit his 10-10 skill of his, uh, his own full team break burst. That's fine. He can still do damage alongside. I'm very curious to see if he does more or not. I want to see. I'm very interested to see. Um, point of doing this test was pretty much curiosity. I'm just curious to see how much damage he can deal on his own through his own self buffs. So we're going to go in again. And now I am going to have to do some swapsies here so I can get his GS uh, break burst again. Just so it stacks. I think it's a one turn, if I do remember right. I can see his health bar going down quite a substantial amount, though, here. Oh, no. Three turns with his skill. Then he's break burst on top, which is always nice. We'll give him four extra AP. Because why the heckles not? The amount of AP you can stack on Arima is kind of insane. So... Again, he's just going to deal his damage. Because why not? That skill at 80% and above actually helps out quite a lot. Does a lot of damage. But we're not quite there with any Arima at the moment. I think I can get him to 60% just based off his... Well, off the stimulants I've got. I think I might have 18, 18 19, 20. I'm in that range of getting another uh, level up on him. But I'm interested to see. Purely down to curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat. But in this case, I'm very interested to see. So as long as we keep our Annie, uh, uh, our Annie boy here alive, we've got an, he's got enough skill charge actually. So let's go in again. I'm just very interested to see how much damage we can get just from him alone. And how, well, I guess we could compare it to how much this Annie Arima's doing. I know he gets more AP, but we have got the break burst and stuff primarily on this Konaki right now. But I'm very interested to see. Now, I know this Annie Arima with his break burst as well and all these other stats that start compiling on top of each other. It can actually do a decent amount of damage. Dollhouse Juzo. I love this character. Dollhouse Juzo going in. We should be able to get another one at least. So this is his unawakened. I'm not using his awakened uh, skill because it doesn't do as much damage in my opinion. Just doesn't do as much in my opinion. We'll be able to do that as a test at some point. He's got his type change. Now, this is an interesting one because he does get his type change now. He does become light. So he is going to start doing more damage from this point onwards. 
which is what I wanted to try and avoid, but hey. Um, now, our boy here is actually... He's gonna die. So, I might have to swap him out um, till we get his skill charge. That's unfortunate. I forgot this guy does a lot of damage when he swaps because he's obviously turns to light. Forgot about that. Well, we'll get his skill charge up next turn. We'll give him his shield and then we should be good for defenses. Obviously misses out on a lot of damage now because he is... Uh, well, he's going to not do as much. Please don't kill him. Okay, he's good. So let's go in. I'm not going to be able to break him. This farm doesn't do as much break damage. It just does damage. It doesn't do straight breaks. Uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. Because the only way we're getting the break now is if I used one of the other characters to break it. Obviously, we've not got enough charge to do that, so... He is now dead, unfortunately, so his damage is going to cease one turn before the end. Is it one turn, or does it end this turn? It might not matter. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't matter. So, how much damage did he do? I'm just really curious to see how much damage he can exert. Total damage... So, bearing in mind we had to awaken him one turn early, which I should, probably shouldn't have done. It shouldn't have mattered. Um, we did just under, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We did 28 mil. Just under 29 million damage. Which is actually pretty nutty. Wow. That's pretty nutty. And obviously, a Remo, we weren't focusing on him, but he did like 12 mil damage, which is kind of insane. Compared to the rest of the team, those two definitely, they definitely do work. So, I wanted to do that little test just to have a little see how much damage he actually exerts. Now, I could do another raid, but it's not really anything, we don't really get anything good from raids at the moment. Not if you're not doing them at three. Um, and I have been doing a lot of strikes. One thing I would like to test this out against is in here actually can we get arita boys hey arita boys that's what i wanted to see so if you've got both of the anniversary units arita boys are so easy in fact all of these raids and stuff are incredibly easy these two characters in particular just dominate the game without a shadow of a doubt so let's have a look we have got Arita boys, so I can use these boys for training. Let's go in and let me show you how dominant these guys are. It's kind of, it's just nutty. Now, I could use his skill here, but I don't need to because I can go all in and it'll break and two turn, yeah, two tap. It's the ending two that I want to get to. They're the the ones I want to test against. So I can go all in here and just pop the skill. That would give me the break burst as well. Uh, no. It gives you the break burst as well, doesn't it? It's going to give me the break burst and also times three my attack for three, three turns, which we won't need without any hesitation. So these are the two. So we've got the dark and the light. Um, let's target the, the light. I'm going to go in with Konaki over here. All the way in. I'm going to pop his skill. It'll break. and it sh In fact, you know what? It'll kill. The combination of the two does a lot. But he just absolutely annihilates on his own. So why do you need the combination of the two? He'll kill here as well because he's times three attack. This Konaki is absolutely amazing. Now, obviously, I haven't been able to test any Arima 100%, 10 10 just yet. It is 10 10, but it's only 40%. So, when I get him to 100%, we'll do exactly this type of video just so we can see what type of damage they exert. 
and that was just kill damage, so we did enough to kill. But I think there isn't too much in terms of new stuff either. Um, there was the new stuff that came out this week. Uh, we had the Golden Week Breeze. She is out at the moment. Again, she's not really worth taking the... She's a decent unit, as from what I've heard. I've not really seen it. I didn't play during Golden Week on JP, so I didn't actually uh, get to play as her at all. What she got in... She's got all the premium units in there. Up to Nutcracker, the Juzo, the Algeri uh, Nishki. I think well, that's when he's a Roachy, yeah. So it's, it is, and it is, it's just not worth the banner, I think. I don't know what's going to be coming soon, but I feel like Hacker is something we should start saving again. Because we don't know what is around the corner. But we did get both anniversary units eventually, which is always very nice. But I think that is everything that I wanted to do. It's basically just a damage test. I wanted to see how much damage that, that one boy can exert against a Koniki, uh, well, a mirror matchup essentially. But I think for today, that's going to be it. Let me know if you get any crazy damages with your one eyed King Konikis. Send me screenshots, Twitter me, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the anniversary Koniki. How good do you think he is? Do you think he's amazing? Let me know. Let me know your nice thoughts. I know he's amazing, but let me know what you guys think. Have a wonderful safe day, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.